Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. Some ovens will use a high limit switch or thermostat to protect against overheating. If your oven isn't heating properly, or if the display isn't working, then it's possible that the limit switch is faulty. In this episode, first we'll learn how it all works. Then we'll test the limit switch with a multimeter. And finally, We'll see how to replace it. Let's get started. Limit switches are overload protection devices. If the temperature gets too high, the limit switch will open, disconnecting power. Some limit switches will reset automatically, while others will use a reset button. How this switch is connected will change which part of the oven loses power. On most ovens, the switch will be connected to the bake and broil elements. This means a blown fuse will prevent the oven from heating, but won't affect the display. In some ovens, the limit switch is wired between the power source and the control board. So a faulty switch will cut power to both the display and the elements. Other models will use a thermal fuse, which is not resettable. The testing and replacement is very similar to that of the limit switch. In ovens that don't have a fuse or a limit switch, the control board monitors the temperature sensor. If the oven overheats, the control board will cut power to the elements and will display an error code. You can learn more in the video's link below. To begin, you might need a screwdriver, a nut driver, gloves, and a multimeter. To know if your oven has a thermal fuse or a limit switch, you can enter your model number on the Aimer Supply website. This will bring up a parts breakdown with the exact replacement parts listed on the side. Always be safe and disconnect the power at the breaker. Since there might be some sharp edges, it's best to wear cut-resistant gloves. Gently pull the range slightly away from the wall. As soon as there's enough room, go in behind and unplug it from the receptacle. Make sure that there isn't too much tension on the cord. Now slide the range all the way out so you have plenty of room to work. On the back of the oven is a cover panel. Some models have a small panel near the top and a larger panel near the bottom. Now remove the screws. The panel will likely be sitting on several hooks. Simply lift up to remove the panel. The limit switch should be located near the bake or broil element terminals. If your switch has a reset button, then push the button to reset it. The switch can be tested for continuity with a multimeter. A continuity test will determine if there's a continuous path for electricity to flow through. First, disconnect the wires. Set the multimeter to the ohms or resistance setting. Now place the probes on each terminal. If the switch is good, the multimeter should display between 0 and 1 ohm. If the multimeter doesn't show a reading or doesn't beep, then the switch is faulty and should be replaced. Now unscrew and remove it. Align the new switch and tighten the screws. Now reconnect the wires. Align the back panel and replace the screws. Now plug in the cord and push the range back into place. 
Next, reconnect the power. Now you can test your oven. If this still didn't solve your problem, then check out our troubleshooting videos linked in the description below. For more troubleshooting videos on water heaters, furnaces, and appliances, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit our naming location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.